Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Zealous Tutorials. So today we are looking at the song Lord Send Revival by Hillsong Young and Free from the All of My Best Friends album. Okay, so this song is in the key of C sharp major. Alright, so I'm just firstly going to go over all the chords that we will use in this song. And then I'll go over the chord progressions. Okay, so song is fairly simple. It's just the same chords over and over from start to end, really. Uh, with variations here and there, but they don't really attribute much to changing the progression that much you're still using the same roots throughout the whole song so it starts on the f sharp uh, sometimes i'll play a f sharp sus2 suspended chord either without the third or with the third But this is F sharp major in its root position. Followed by a C sharp major chord. I'm playing an inversion. You can play it in the root if you're comfortable in that way. It sounds better here because you're coming from the F sharp major and then your voice leading into the C sharp. Followed by a G sharp suspended chord. You can also play G sharp major in its root position. But most of the song I'm playing a G sus chord. And lastly, there's a passing chord which is a C sharp major over F. This is what it, it will look like in root. And since I'm already playing the F here, I'm just gonna get rid of it here. So we left with this. And I'll bring this G sharp closer. And that's how we end up with this chord. So it's used as a passing chord to go back to F sharp. All right. So that's pretty much all the chords that we'll use in this song um, as I stated it's the same thing for verse chorus into the bridge um, so I'm just gonna show you this chord progression once and it should apply for every part of the song uh, every other part of the song okay so it starts on F sharp major suspended to C sharp Okay, so depending on how you're counting, if you're counting in double time, that will be one, two, three, one. It'll be one, two, three, 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 one, two. One thing I did forget to note is that this song is in 6-8 or 3-4 if you want to look at it that way. 
you can count it in 4-4. Um, but the song is in is in in threes so i think it's much better to count in threes rather than counting in fours um yeah so the first two chords get three counts one two three one two three uh sorry two counts of three so it's one two three one two three one two three one two three one two, and then the last then your g sharp major gets a gets four counts of three so it's one two three one two three one two three one two three. right so that's pretty much how that will go throughout the whole song so when we reach um the first interlude after our first chorus you'll hear the guitarist play something like this Let me try and play that slower so you can see exactly what I'm playing on my right hand. So it's just going back and forth between C sharp and, and D sharp. So we start on the F sharp. Yeah, so that's basically the interlude and obviously we're playing octaves to make it sound a bit more full okay and the bridges i say the only difference when you're playing all four bridges by the way there's four bridges in the song the only difference is that uh, we use a passing chord which is that c sharp over f so it'll sound something like this i'm gonna try and sing so we sort of get an idea of where i am so it's so it's lost in revival lost in denial move of your spirit Heaven break up, come Holy Spirit, cover this land. We've done it before, you could do it again. And there's this passing chord. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole song in its entirety. Uh, with songs this simple, you should try and be creative. Not overly that you start to take over the track, but just enough to put variations here and there. Um, yeah because it can get quite boring playing the same thing over and over. So you try and make it interesting every now and again. So that's it for me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, can you please make sure that you like and press the subscribe button right below the screen. Thank you for watching Zealous Tutorials and I hope to see you again.